Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Coders Arcade. So in today's video, we'll be discussing a very important question that is very frequently asked in the interviews. Okay, the question is about reversing an integer. Okay, so you will be given an integer and you have to write an algo or code to reverse that. Okay, and before starting this video, I would like to request all of you again to please like and share our videos with your friends and family if you really like them. And at the same time, thank you for supporting us and please keep supporting us in future. And at the same time, if you really like our videos, don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so that you get notified about the latest updates. And guys, please, 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 this is a request because if you really like, then make sure that you comment and you share it with your friends so that nobody is missing out on good content. And I hope we'll be bringing more good content for you because your support means a lot to us. Okay, so thank you again and let's get started without any more ado. As I said, today we'll be learning about reversing an integer. Okay, so let me just go to my whiteboard. Okay, so here uh, I've just formatted the color to black. Don't have to worry about that. The algo, let's try to talk about it. I'm saying reverse an integer. Okay, this is the task given to us. Say suppose any number I have say suppose 324. Okay, and this is our input given. And we have to uh, reverse that into the output which should be say 423. Okay, that is our target given. So given an integer, I have to reverse it to this output. Okay, this is our target given. So approach, let's talk about the approach, then we can easily understand how to code it. Okay, don't have to worry about that. Okay, so the first thing that comes to our mind is that we need to target the individual elements here. Okay, now that is the thing that we have to talk about. Yes, so our question is how do you target the individual elements? Now let's see this here. Here I have a number say n equal to 324 and what I want to do is I want to target the last element. So simply because I can write 324 like this equal to I can say 3 into 100 plus 2 into 20 plus 4. That means ultimately is this 3 into 10 square 2 into sorry this is not 20 this should be 10 okay let me erase this and write again this should be how much it should be 10 okay so it is 10 power 1 plus 4 into 10 power 0 got it so this is the way of writing 324 now I can simply say I need to target the last one I want to find out 4 so I can say number modulus of 10 so if I do 324 modulus of 10, what am I getting? I'm getting 4. Fine. Then I need to reverse it. So initially, let us take a variable called answer equal to 0. Okay. As you saw here, we are subsequently multiplying by 10, 10, 10. Right? So it's like the number line. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. It's keeping on going like this. Correct? So I can simply say, our answer should be equal to answer into 10 plus this variable or this value let us take it as say digit because we are targeting the individual digits here you can see right these are the digits that we are targeting so i can just say answer into 10 plus digit so initially what will this become let's try to understand here so when i say this I just simply mean like this. My digit value is 4 now, right? This is the digit value. I can say our answer into 10 plus 4. Answer initially, as I said, I had taken it to be 0. So it will be 0 plus 4. That is 4. Okay. See, guys, I had 324 and I have already got 4 as my number here. Okay. Now I need to repeatedly do the same thing. Okay. Now I need to separate this part so that I can get to this 2 here. Got it? So how do you do this? Simple guys, you just have to divide number by 10. See here, 
if I divide 324 by 10, this is integer division, what will you get? You will get 32. Okay. Have we got this part that we needed? We needed 32, right? We got this. Now again, this will be repeated. I will just say our digit will be equal to number modulus of 10. Now we have 32. So 32 modulus of 10, which is 2. See, we targeted this individual 2. Now again, this will be answer equal to answer into 10 plus digit. So that means it will be our answer was how much initially we had 4 here, right? So now it is 4 into 10 plus digit is 2 here. So it is 40 plus 2 that is 42. See, we had 324 as the number. Now we have already got 42. Now we are only left with 3 here. This is the target now. We need to get this. Now again, this cycle will be repeated. We have n equal to 32. Now I will just say n equal to n divided by 10 again. So it is 32 divided by 10 again. Now this becomes 3. Then there is a 30. This is simple integer division. Yes. Now again repeat the same cycle. I will say uh, digit equal to number mod 10. So now if you do 3 mod 10, what are you getting? This is 3 only. Correct. Now again that cycle will be repeated where we are calculating the answer. Now the answer has 42. Now I will say 42 is the previous answer into 10 plus this 3. This is my answer now. The latest value. It will be 420 plus 3. That is 423. See guys, we have ultimately arrived at our answer. Okay, we had 324. Now we have got 423. Clear? This is our expected output. Correct? We got this. So only one catch you have to understand is this. Till what extent will you be dividing that n value? Okay, we will keep on dividing till it is not equal to 0, our n value. If it becomes 0, then if I divide 0 by 10, it is meaningless. We don't get anything. It will be always 0. Okay, so this has to be controlled. And for that, I can simply use a while loop. Okay, I can just say while n not equal to 10. Fine, makes sense. Now, when you know the logic, let's go and try to write down the code here. Okay. I have already created the file. Now let's create the function. I will just say int reverse integer. And here it will take the n value and it will reverse it. Okay. I will just say int answer is equal to zero. Then I will just say while our n is not equal to zero. We will say int digit is equal to our number modulus of 10 correct then after that I can just say our answer will be equal to answer into 10 plus this digit correct and finally I can simply say our n should be equal to n divided by 10 because we were gradually getting the lesser part of the number correct and finally after doing this I can just say return our answer yes this should be enough got it let's try to do this here I will simply call say int n and let me take our manual number like this 324 and let's say I will call C out our reverse integer function and I will pass my n value here okay let's see what we get I should get 423 let's run this and check see guys it's working absolutely fine I'm getting 423 as the answer okay let's take some other values say let's take some negative values here say I'm writing minus 324 it should work for this one also it should be minus 423 See guys, it's working absolutely fine. Say suppose I'm taking 
210. So let's understand this. I am taking 210. The reverse will become 0, 1, 2. But 0 should not be coming. It should be 12. Right? So let's try this here. I am saying 210. The answer should be 12. Run this and check. See guys, we are getting 12 as the answer. So the algo is working absolutely fine and it's all okay. Okay, got it? I hope you have understood this. Pretty easy, pretty simple, but this logical conclusion you have to understand. Okay, so that's all about this video guys. I hope you have understood and like this. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. And also share this with your friends so that they can also understand that it is so easy to reverse an integer using some cool logic. Okay, got it? So thank you for watching. This is Saurabh signing off. I will get back to you in the next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye and happy learning. Thank you.